Andrew from Wirehead. In this video we're going to go through some patches, just show you a bit about what the Wirehead Basilisk can do. We've just got the starting sequence, we've got no resonance, it's pretty vanilla. I'm going to dial up the detune a bit. Well, there's two oscillators detuned by fifth. And we're going to set the LFO to route to the detune. Press LFO mode. Turn the knob until it shows the sharp. No, nothing's happening because we haven't turned on the depth. I'm going to turn up the depth on the LFO. All the way. Now we can hear that detune oscillator varying between an octave, fifth, somewhere around the middle. Let's add some slide. Hold down funk, turn glide. reduce that note length. So what the glide will do is it'll glide between notes if they're still playing. So to add in a few glides we're going to do some parameter lock recording. So hold down rec and twist the knob. Now we have a mix of slides and staccato notes. Increase the resonance. Yeah. Now we give it a bit more life, recording a few more parameter locks. Maybe something with the filter envelope. Vary the shape bit. And then we'll release the sequencer to vary the sequence bit. And we'll dial up the density all the way. Hold down function and record and twist the knob that you want to delete. Now we might just record a couple in there instead of the whole sequence being recorded. We'll just record a couple of steps in. We'll do the same with the envelope depth. And this mix of some steps being recorded and locked and some steps not means it's now got a bit of playability. So you can dial that all the way down and then bring it up. Same with the cutoff. Delete all those parameter locks. Go back to the standard detune. Take out the LFO. And switch glide off. Now we're back to a pretty basic sequence. No life. Detune. Pop up the drive. 
that's the LFO to the note length this time. So hold down LFO and dial it till it shows the note length. Let go. Again, nothing's happening because our LFO depth is set to nothing. So we'll start to dial that in a bit. You can hear the note length varying with the LFO now. Let's speed up that LFO so we get a bit more kind of randomness in it. Now let's add some glide so that those notes that are longer start getting glide together. Up an octave. Hold down function, turn octave. Now, let's add some parameter locks in the filter envelope. Shorten that envelope a bit. Let's add some parameter locks on the envelope shape. Now if we play with the note length, dial that right back. Gonna change the ratio between the staccato notes and the legato notes. Locks off again. Go back to nice basic. A bit less resonance. Okay, let's change the waveform. We got a saw happening here, fold down function, turn waveform, go to square, and you can keep dialing that all the way up to pulse width. Let's leave it on a pulse. And let's hold down LFO and Switch it to pulse width modulation. Oh, now that's too fast. There we go. Detune. Let's get that envelope really nice. Okay, let's try a different, uh, let's try a different scale this time. Hold down scale, it's showing Dorian, we're going to turn that round to Phrygian. Maybe dial up the detune. Switch off glide for a bit. Now 
let's up the rate on the LFO a bit so we can get that PWM going mental. That's mental. Okay, now let's play with the high pass filter mode. It's probably a good place to start, given that the filter cutoff is right at the bottom, so we'll switch it to high pass. Now it's non-resonant. Let's switch the LFO to cutoff all the way back down. Dial up the filter drive. That wasn't a good idea. Okay, that's pretty short, um, but there'll be more later. Thanks for listening. See you next time.
I'm <laughs> sorry. 